Welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda from Makeup for Unicorns. And today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using my favorite products for the month of September. So if you would like to see what my favorite products were, then keep on watching. So the first product that I'm going to use today is the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. This is the pore reducing primer. I love to use pore filling primers around obviously my porous areas, but I've found it quite tricky to find like a good drugstore version of one, like the Dr. Brent or Smashbox pore minimizing primer. And I recently purchased this one and I think it is amazing. It is definitely good at reducing the pores or making them appear smaller. So that is going to be my first step to my makeup today. Alright, so we're just going to go in with this primer. It's actually very uh, spreadable compared to other pore filling primers. I find they can be a little bit difficult to spread. That's why I like to use like maybe a moisturizing primer first and then go in with a pore filling primer. But with this one, I feel like you don't really need to use another one. It has um, a very smooth consistency and I think it's pretty good at spreading. And I usually concentrate this mostly on the porous areas that I want to fill in. For foundation today, I'm going to be mixing the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour with the, you guessed it, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This foundation mixed with pretty much any foundation is bomb. So I just do like a pump or two of whatever foundation I'm going to be mixing and then I'll add a little drop of the Infallible Pro Glow and just mix it up on my hand. So I actually didn't have any new favorites concealers, like there's been nothing new I've tried so I'm just going to be using my trusty Age Rewind by Maybelline for my under eyes. And no new favorite eye primer, but I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. There's no new powder favorites either, so I'm just using my RCMA No Color Powder to set my under eyes. And then I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder to set my whole face. I believe I used this in a favorites video before and For contour, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit and I like to use the shade Medium Cocoa. For blush today, I'm going to be using the NARS blush in the shade Impassioned. Oh. 
And for highlights, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever, the Pro Light Fusion in number one. And I'm going to be using it on the new Fenty Beauty highlighting brush. This brush is amazing. If you want like a really intense highlight that like hugs your cheekbones, go with this guy. Can y'all see how blinding this brush makes your highlight? This was the only thing I picked up from Fenty, but um, that eyeshadow palette that's coming out, I just might have to get it. And I'm trying not to buy anything else from Sephora for the rest of the year, but I don't know what to do. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This is similar to the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It has the super fine tip. And then you also get a spoolie on the other end. This pencil is amazing. I actually like it better than the next micro pencil because it's a little bit easier to apply. It's more like a waxy formula and it's easier to blend with the spoolie. And the color is like perfect for me. I found the micro pencil was just a touch too warm and I even had ash brown but it just looked a little bit warm for me. And this is like the perfect cool tone brown. This is the shade Brunette. My favorite eyeshadow palette this month has been the Sephora Pro Editorial Palette. I love this palette. I'm so happy I bought it. In case you didn't know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. There's lots of color choices. It's very colorful. I'm going to start by applying this white shade just all over my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with this shade right here and use that as my transition shade. And on my lids, I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply that in the inner corners as well. And I'm going to go back with that pink shade and put this on my lower lash line. And I'm just going to take this purple shade right here and apply that into the crease. So there's no favorite mascaras or eyeliners or anything new I've tried this month. So I'm just going to apply those off camera because it's a little bit easier and then we will finish off this look. So I'll be right back. Alright, my eyes are done and I'm just going to go in with my lips. I'm going to be using the Essence Lip Liner. This is in the shade Satin Mauve. And then I'm just going to go over top with the Tarte Glossy Lip Paint. This is in the shade Hella. Nothing beats a 
Nude Lip. And for setting spray today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Mist. If you haven't tried this yet, I highly recommend it. It smells amazing, it's mattifying, it keeps your makeup on all day, and what more could you ask for? Ooh, that smells good. This is the final look using my favorite products for the month of September. So there was a couple items that I didn't love this month, and they're actually items that I didn't even purchase, which is great. So I'm just going to tell you what those products were that didn't work for me, and they didn't work for me because of my skin, not necessarily because they were bad products, but they just didn't mesh well with my skin, and the first product was the Too Faced Peach Foundation, the mattifying foundation. I did a video on it, and it looked really bad on my skin. It was very drying looking, and after like my natural oils started coming through, it did look better, but the initial application did not look very nice, and I didn't find the coverage to be very good, and it wasn't buildable. It's not something I would purchase, so that was something I just did not enjoy this month. And then another product that I didn't enjoy is the Fenty Foundation. I did get a sample of it from Sephora, and it kind of did the same thing the Too Faced Foundation did. It just like clung to dryness. Um, I did prep my skin before, so I know it has nothing to do with that. People say to prep your skin pretty good before applying it, and I did that but it just clung to dry areas and it dried super fast. I had little lines of foundation on my forehead and I tried to blend them out but it was too late because it had already dried. And then I kind of went over top of the foundation to try and build it and it got really bad. It got so bad that I didn't even want to see if like my natural oils coming through would make it look better. I like immediately took it off. I was super disappointed in it. So that's just how my skin looked with it. Um, I know a lot of people had great success with that foundation and it got me really excited to try it but unfortunately it just did not work for me. So those were the two products that I wasn't too happy with this month but um, the products I used on my face today I was very into this month and I actually like doing a video like this a little bit better because I think it was just a lot more fun to apply the products onto my face and rather than just sit down and tell you about them. Let me know what you prefer. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It really helps me as I'm building my channel and I do really appreciate it. Halloween is coming up very, very soon. So the month of October, I'm going to be doing as many Halloween looks as possible. If there's anything that you want to see from me, any looks in particular, please let me know because I'm pretty open to trying anything really. So just let me know any ideas that you'd like to see me do. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll be seeing you next time. Bye bye.